Welcome to EnviroTube. Today we're going to take a behind the scenes look at the B program. At Karingai, we're not just doing the same old, same old, we're always thinking, how can we do it better? How can we make sure no hives get attacked and destroyed by small hive beetle? How can we improve the sustainability of the program? How can we get rid of these foam boxes? We hate the foam boxes. Uh, they don't last, they're not a sustainable product, they have to go. So this year we sat down, brainstormed, and came up with a brand new idea. The problem with this brand new idea is we've got 600 hives in Karingai already. Whatever we do has to be retrofitable. Retrofitable for 600 hives. Big job. Each year we lose about 15 to 20 hives to small hive beetle. And that really burns me up. I just hate losing hives to small hive beetle. So we've tried everything. We've tried this mesh and we've talked about this in the past. The mesh, we still lose about 15 hives. Perhaps we would have lost more without the mesh, but we still lose it. Then last year, ha ha, let's try a net. So let me show you. We've got this net and we would put after we split the hive, we would place it in here. And seal it up. Nothing can get in. Bees can't get out, but they've got lots of food. Uh, you can do this for weeks. But more importantly, small hive beetle can't get in. So we thought, great, we'll let the bees stay in there for a week. They'll build up their defences. No small hive beetle. We still lost 15 to 20 hives. It's like, how do we stop these insects? So, haha, -ha, we've got a new plan. Every year we have a new plan, but this one we're going to try and imitate what the bees do in the wild. Not so much Tetragonula carbonaria, but other Tetragonula species. We're going to use a pipe. So, if you look at the entrance hole, which is just down here, you can see there's a bit of uh, plastic pipe sticking out of it. So the idea is that this pipe is about that long. The secret weapon. This is an irrigation fitting, by the way. Now we have a pipe that the bees can defend the whole way through. So the thought was the beetles are just pushing their way in. Even though the, the bees have had a chance to set up some defences, the beetles are just pushing their way in. What was happening was small hive beetle only had to get past defences that the bees could muster the width of that plywood, effectively 17 mils. It's not enough. The bees just, they can stop a lot of them, they can't stop them all. Now the bees are going to be able to defend this pipe and this is exactly the way they would defend themselves potentially in the wild. Now there's other tetragonal species in the tropics that actually use this uh, system anyway. So we're thinking, this is what bees use, let's try it ourselves. I don't know, it's not even plan C, we're probably up to a plan F, plan G. Let's see if we can beat small hive beetle this year. At least we know we're not going to worry about the nets, we're not going to worry about the mesh. It's the pipe. The next problem is the actual hive itself. The foam box. The foam box, we just don't like the foam box. The foam box isn't a sustainable material, doesn't last forever, it's quite expensive. It's something we want to get rid of. It's actually prone to getting water in it, causes a lot of secondary problems that we didn't initially think about. So now we're, we're sitting down thinking, okay, small hive beetle, how can we improve this? So we've come up with a new version of the Oath Hive. Now the Oath Hive is the original Australian tetragonular hive. And that's to make sure that all hives are interchangeable. It's a basic principle that I can buy a hive anywhere, sort of up the east coast, and I should be able to split that hive with another person's hive. So now we've created the Koth, the Karingai original Australian tetragonular hive. So the Koth is basically incorporating the foam within the hive itself, but it's all retrofitable. That means that anyone sort of can buy our box and use it even if they don't have a Kringai or a Koth. So, this hive has to now be able to fit into our Koth. So let me show you, I'll go and grab it. 